Hello guys and welcome to a battle between the mighty and proud Dowie, led by myself, up against Logic and his vile and evil conniving Dark Elves as a Rune Lord faces off against Malekith. Let's get in and uh, have a little look at the armies. So, I'm showing this battle because it has some really particular uh, strange gameplay that we're going to see and I'll get your guys' opinion on it. So up front we do have two gyrocopters with the brimstone guns just going forward there and doing a little bit of scouting. And of course we have the natural formation of the uh, Dowie, which is a box formation. So in the front we have a couple of units of longbeards, or one sorry, and in the warriors of dragonfire pass. And on the flanks we have two units of longbeards, and in reserves we also have another unit. So these guys, really solid all round good infantry. I believe they are getting a bit of a points increase in the latest patch, but they're just so good. They beat swordsmen and um, spearmen and all that stuff, and they'll even hold fairly long against the elite troops. In the second line, behind three of our units of longbeards, we do have miners with blasting charges. Now, a lot of people tend to use these guys in the front line as a first kind of layer of defence and roadblock to stop them getting to your guns and so forth. However, I quite like using them in the second line, just to ensure they can get both their blasts and charges up and over these units and they can really help Longbeards punch above their uh, weight basically by one, disrupting that charge and also doing a nice bit of damage and then I pull them back and defend the ranged core of my army. Right in the reserves here we do have the Dragonback Slayers, Regiment Renowned Slayers, almost a must pick in most matchups in case you know we see Malekith and Dragon, Cold One Knights, any of those things, these guys are going to be able to slow them down, pin them in and slowly cut them to ribbons. Now for our main core here, not our main core, but some of our biggest damage dealers, we do in fact have an organ gun, which is something I'm trying out. A little bit of a risky pick, um, I know it's getting changed in the latest patch, but I wanted to give it a go. If it gets in range, it's quite short range for an artillery piece, it can do some horrific damage however, especially against elite infantry and so forth. We also have one unit of the Iron Drakes of Troll Hammer Torpedoes. These guys have huge defensive capabilities because they have very high armour, although there is you know, a small unit count, and they can dish out a crazy amount of punishment to elite infantry, which is what I'm kind of expecting from the Dark Elves. We've also gone for a Master Engineer, look at him raising his gun there and cheering who is a pick, once again, I don't normally pick alongside the organ gun. Um, I don't pick him in general anyway, but I've decided to bring him along and uh, see what he does. We also have got a rune lord who I accidentally popped up on top of his anvil, but still, he's been coming with all his runes. He has Master Rune of Oath and Steel, Wrath and Ruin, and Rune of Negation. So let's go have a look at my opponent's build. And as you can see, there's some very early skirmishing going on. We're doing some really nice damage to some Hargonef Executioners. So for my opponent's army, in the front line, he does have four units of Hargonef Executioners gone very, very elite here, and they will chop through the long bids very quickly, unless I manage to do some decent damage to them to, you know, in the range phase of the battlefield. So he's also got two units of dark shards with shields here just doing a bit of extra range support two units of black arc corsairs one guard in each flank and then four repeated bolt throwers that's right four it is insane so we have them all in the back here a little bit unprotected if i can get something up and around but you know he's got the flank score and of course i'm dowie i'm not exactly going to be sneaking up on him anytime soon so alongside he has Malekith leading the charge here. Let's see what spells he's brought. He's brought him on foot, however. He has Gaze of Malice, Stand Ground, Soul Stealer, Blade Wind, Word of Pain, and all that kind of good stuff. So as you can see, against four units of repeated crossbows, I or um repeated bolt for us, I really have no options here. I'm kind of panicking at this point. I'm like, well, I, I can't advance. I I physically cannot walk into that and have any chance of winning. So I'm going to try and do as much damage and as much har uh, harass as possible with my gyrocopters and try and get him to waste as much ammo as possible. And as you can see, we've already done huge damage to some Hargonef Executioners because we got them on the flank, shooting down these ranks. And uh, yeah, we've already taken quite a few out already. As we can see, we have 22 kills on one of the gyrocopters and 11 on the other. And those are all on elite troops. And now we're going to fast forward here. As you can see, I'm just dying back and forth, back and forth, trying to dodge as many shots as possible. And as you can see, they are already starting to lose quite a lot of ammunition this one over here already down to just above half ammunition and we're going to keep absolutely duking now this is the type of gameplay i wanted uh, to ask you guys about so in this battle when you can see it's you know clearly impossible for me just to advance and not get completely annihilated is this kind of i would say cheesy play of gyrocopters of kind of dying in and out trying to waste ammo coming in taking pop shots is this like you guys tend to do i when i was playing this matchup I really don't like doing this type of thing, where you try and waste your opponent's ammunition. A lot of people, you know, you send lords forward, then duke back and forth. I know it's quite a high um, elite play that some people do with their lords and make opponents waste ammunition. However, I don't know how I feel about it, so I just want to get your guys' opinion. In this kind of matchup where you don't really have a choice, is this the type of move you guys do? 
But, you know, up against four repeater bolt throws, I wasn't feeling uh, too guilty about doing this. As you can see, we've done some huge damage. My opponent is now trying to march his army forward, just trying to get into range. He still wants to me to uh, push forward towards him. I've done a decent amount of damage at this point, but this point into the battlefield, I realised I was actually kind of winning the skirmish game. Look at how much damage I've done to these very expensive units of Hargrave Executioners. The Jokopters, yes, they're all very beat up, but they've still got all their uh, models, so they're going to be doing all the impact possible so I'm just going to pull back with my main force and who do I send forward the master engineer the uh, MVP I'm hoping he's going to get forward take as many shots as possible you can see all the rain and fire coming down on him and he can start taking some pot shots at those repeater bolt throws trying to actually destroy some of the siege engines themselves so you see my giant cobblers are finally starting to go down but they're again out of ammunition and as we can see they're up to let's have a little look Ooh, looks to me I'm going to have to zoom over there 72 kills on one unit and up to 74 on the other and that's mainly been as you can see against these elite troops now the master engineer has gone up front here popping some shots and i believe he does in fact manage to destroy a couple of the uh, repeater crossbow um repeater bolt throws themselves um nullifying their range damage a little bit but at this point i realize i'm gonna have to advance so i pull back again trying to waste some more shots but as he keeps moving up eventually he can master engineer is very slow he can just walk up with malachir for any of these other units and annihilate him he's finally stopped trying to shoot him with the repeater crossbows which of course or bolt throws sorry um because that's just wasting ammo you don't really want to be shooting a single target and that's what the master engineer was there for it looks like he's actually taking a little bit of magical damage there but he's a dowie so he should be completely fine with that getting in some little bombs as well on kind of the last you know dregs that i have of my army and as these crossbowmen are out of position this is when we're going to start to make our march forward and the organ gun in this instance is going to hopefully get me some huge value it can sit back here it's going to be getting onto this ridge and far away as as you can see my opponent's going very very elite and tight really focused around trying to drag me forward and then destroy me with the hard life executioners that organ gun has no threats there's no worry of anyone flanking him in any time soon so he's going to be getting up here i'm going to be abandoning and leaving it alone up here just to do as much damage as possible and as you can see the march of the dowie has begun and they're just going to be taking an absolute pound and you can see this formation not particularly great for i've got two units pretty much stacked on each other so a very juicy target there i haven't actually formed out of the box formation at this point what i should be doing is going very very wide to try and nullify as many of these shots as possible and you see in the background we do have uh, the dry coppers continue to try and be a pain swooping on these guys wherever they can as you can see the first organ gun volley does swoop in and uh, there is a lot of blood stained remnants there of executions on the ground so the question is have i done enough damage we've basically managed to destroy one unit of hard enough executioners and or two units in fact and is that gonna be enough for my very uh, under siege troops here are pushing through shields raised desperately trying to take as many shots as possible are they going to be able to break through power bands has gone slightly in our favor so it would suggest that the uh, fins aren't going too badly and the master engineer is going to continue just popping some shots in there he is in fact up to 36 kills so nothing too shabby we're going to get some nice blasting charges off here trying to aim at them at the black arc corsairs and just crumple this flank as quickly as possible it's only uh two blast charges got sent in there i'm sure here we go another massive blast to the face and some huge damage and also uh, nullifying their charge quite handily. Also getting some more blasting charges onto the Hargrave Executioners as the Warriors of Dragonfire pass heroically charging, it gets swinging, and these guys will uh, stand their ground and fight against anyone, they don't care how elite they are. As you can see, I am trying to drop Rune of Negation and Ofen still actually trying to keep these Iron Drake Troll Hammer torpedoes in the fight as they're taking an absolute hammering from basically all of the range. But in return, they're already up to 20 kills on Hargrave Executioners trying to bomb one of the only healthy units left. Now while this is all happening, the Orn Gun has been up here on this little ridge, firing some very shots uh, very comfortably, already up to 74 kills, and I can tell you, I was targeting those Hargrave Executioners pretty damn hard, so we've been trying to take out those elite troops, making some fantastic value there. So Orn Gun is now, yeah, he's finished off this one health unit of Hargrave over here, and soon going to be switching over to the Dark Shards, trying to tag those guys down. As I can see, I am slowly managing to beat down these Hargrave Executioners who are very beat up. The ones on this flank doing a little bit better. Uh, the assistance from the Iron Drakes is very key here in actually keeping these Longbeards and Miners fighting. Doing some pretty decent damage themselves, but they have been taking huge amounts of missile fire. But something very key that is happening in the battle now, because of all that strafing back and forth with the Gyrocobras earlier, some of the repeater bolt throwers are starting to run out of ammo, and then they're basically useless. I mean, their little crews aren't going to do anything against Mighty Dowie. So imagine to crush this left flank pretty hard, picking on these Black Arc Corsairs of our Rune Lord and Longbeards. For the rest of the front line, I am starting to crumble a little bit. We have, of course, the Dragonback Slayers in the middle, who are scared of no one, but some huge bolt damage coming in there, tearing these guys apart. But they're just trying to slow down Malekith, 
and keep him pinned. I don't want him anywhere near my Rune Lord. I can see the power balance is going massively in my favour. So I'm hoping these troops will rally. I do a very sneaky little play here. So these Iron Drakes were in fact running away. So I drop Entrenchment on them, which is a ability by the Master Engineer, which not only gives them physical resistance, but also means they cannot move. So hopefully uh, my main plan here was to stop them moving so they don't run too far away from the battlefield so that when they rally, they can turn around and start firing again. However, they are taking bolts in the back. So maybe not the best move, but there is only five of them left. So bolt throwers, shots going to them. I'm not too fussed. So, as you can see, we finally managed to break into the back line. One unit of Longbeards has hopped on top of some Dark Shards, cut them down. And now, almost all the repeated Bolt Thrower crews are completely out of ammo. And they're just going to be nice, tasty snacks for some Dowie Axes. Over on the right flank, we're still struggling up against these Hargonef Executions. We've done a fantastic job, up to 85 kills. These guys are so powerful up against the Dowie, but they're taking consistent shots. And they're so close to kind of losing so much health that they are going to break. Malekith desperately trying to get on top of this Master Engineer. He's been taking potshots in pretty much all game, up to 42 kills. Nothing too shabby. And he's just got him down on sight. He's popped down your Grand Malekith to keep him in the fight. But the back line is now completely over. That one year of Longbeards managing to push through. And the, you can see the Dark Shard's not having a good time either with the Orn Gun doing some huge damage. So there we go. One of the longest games I've ever played on Total War. Up to 17 minutes there. Let's go to the end stats. So, very well played to the logic there. Good game overall. Now, the real MVPs for me were these gyrocopters. They were huge. Without those, I'd have lost this battle hands down. I'd instantly have had to walk forward into all that repeated bolt for a fryer and just been absolutely hammered. By the time I got there, probably would have ended up dying. As you can see, though, I managed to do enough damage to the Hagen Effects Executioners from long range. I could push through them, get on top of the repeated bolt throwers. They didn't have enough ammo to keep firing anyway. And overall, managed to just about grind it out with a Pyrrhic victory. But overall, very very impressed with the gyrocopters, who are someone I don't often bring. But when you can get them on the flank of a unit, especially when the, the enemy formation is a thin long line, they were doing huge damage to Hargonef Executions, who are very, very expensive units. Orn Gun, this is what I'm talking about, man. We need to get more Orn Gun into the multiplayer scene. I understand it has a lot of drawbacks with its range and so forth, and it could have easily been sniped out by some other repeater bolt throws if I had pushed up, you know, they had switched to single shot and so forth. But because it was allowed to just to fire away at free will, it got 113 kills against some very elite Dark Hills, really helping to turn the tide of that melee battle and allowing the Longbeards and the Warriors Dragonfire Pass just eventually push through and finish off the battle. Overall, my opponent's build is a very, very nasty build with the Hargonef Executioners incredibly good in Stowie and four uh, Reaper Bolt Throwers is pretty damn crazy. But of course, you have seen their drawback here. They have ammunition. And once they get in combat, they're obviously completely useless. So how do you guys feel about this type of battle? The reason I wanted to pick this up is... Occasionally you're going to come up against a build like this when you're the Dowie and they're going to have pure range and they're just going to shoot you off the battlefield and there's not much you can do. So how do you feel about, you know, a couple of units of gyrocopters jinking back and forth, trying to just harass and annoy your opponent as much as possible, forcing them to come forward and uh, come out of their shell? I'd like to hear your guys' feedback. Until next time, peace, peace and stay awesome. Remember, if you did like this video, please do give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe and all that good standard YouTube stuff. And if you guys do want to support the channel in any other way, I do have a Patreon account just down below in the description. You yourself, yes, you listen to this right now, could be the first ever Patreon or a rubber duck of war, which is a, I've heard uh, rumours is a very, very high honour. So until next time, guys, stay awesome.